Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make this beautiful bracelet. The things that I'm going to use is four different colours of Miyuki beads, sterling silver closures, I have a spring ring, I have two cream ends, two cream covers and then I have some jump rings. I also got a mat just to make sure that um, if I drop some beads they don't go flying so for example if you have a look they don't go all around the table because um, it has happened to me a lot of times <laughs> so this mat is actually a very very good tool if you're working with beads let me just clean it up quickly Okay, then I have fishing line, I got scissors and I got two pliers. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the fishing line and cut approximately 80 to 90 centimeters. And then we're just going to take and fold that fishing line over and just make sure that these two ends are the same length. And now we're going to take one of the crimp covers and this little white tube and put both ends of the fishing line through it. Then we take it and drag it to the very, very end. You can take pliers because it might be easier and just like grab it, don't tie it and just pull it to the very very end when you see this like very close to the tip you just squeeze it very tight and this is how it looks and now you take the cream cover one of these and then if you see there's a hole in the middle and we want to put both the ends of the fishing line through that hole so we take that and then put it through and we drag it down to the very bottom and now we just need to kind of like turn that end so it fits in the cream colour. And then we can squeeze it together. So you see there are two holes there. We want to make sure that they align. So you might need to take it and just kind of like push it forward. The top one. Just to make sure they are the same and then you just make sure that it's all tight and now you can take one of the jump rings so I'm going to use 4 millimeter jump ring take my plier open it up And pull it through the cream cover and also I'm gonna take the spring ring and pull that one on on the jump ring too and now I'm gonna close the jump ring And now we can start beading. All these items that I use, I'm going to link in the description box. I will link exactly the colors that I use, but obviously you can use any colors you like. Um, like for example, I got this bracelet, it's the same type, it's just different colors. So the first one, I'm going to take a darker brown and I'm going to pull one end 
of the fishing line through one side of the bead and the other end of the fishing line through the other side of the bead it's gonna create like an X and then I will pull each side of the fishing line and just make sure that the bead goes down I don't do it to the very very bottom I just leave a little bit there and then I take four beads but I put two on each end of the fishing line so I'll put two here and I'll put two here and I just let them go down and then for the middle bead I chose to use golden beads so I take one bead and I pull both ends of the fishing line through the golden bead something tight over here so this is how it looks now so now we take these two ends and kind of like fold it over And it looks like this, like a little heart. We're gonna take one end of the fishing line and put through two beads on one side and just pull it. And then we're gonna take the other side of the fishing line and put through the other side of the two beads. And this is how it looks. And then we pull each side so it ties up and then we take the last darker brown colored bead and then we do it the same as we did the first one we pull each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead and drag it down and now as you can see the daisy doesn't really look nice so what I want to do as in this bracelet I have the middle bead kind of like sticking out a little bit so what I want to do I want to take the sides here and just kind of like push on the back so the middle bead comes out a little bit and then if I pull the sides now, it's going to kind of like go on the back and the middle bead is going to stick out on, in the front. And now I'm going to take two of these almost see-through brown beads and pull one on each end of the fishing line. let them go down and now I'm going to take one of these beige colour beads and pull each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead like an X and drag it down And now you can see kind of makes that form here with the two almost see-through beads and now we take again four beads two on each end of the fishing line Then we take the middle bead and put both ends of the fishing line through the middle bead. Then we take the two ends, fold them over, take one side of the fishing line, put through two beads on one side, and then we put two through two beads on the other side and 
then we take another beige color bead and do as we did the first one each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead and drag it down and now this time the middle bead was sticking out itself but if it didn't then make sure you pull, push the ends push the sides um, backwards so the middle bead sticks out we got two daisies done and now you do the same thing you take two i use these see-through brownish color beans put one on each fishing line and then i take the dark color bead and pull each end of the fishing line to opposite side of the bead and then I pull the sides and this is how it looks then we take four beads two on each side of the fishing line and then I take middle bead and pull both ends of the fishing line through drag it down fold it over and pull the sides then we take another dark color bead each and through the opposite side of the bead and drag it down I will now be the rest of the bracelet and then show you how I finish it out So this just happened. So I believe if I didn't have that mat, all them bees would, would be nowhere near me.
much as I would like to have it. So mine is almost 16 centimeters with the spring ring. Um, so the, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take the cream cover, this one, and I'm gonna put it this way the both ends of the fishing line through the hole like so and then I take the crimp end and I put the two ends of the fishing line through it and I can open up this crimp end a little bit just so I can squeeze this one. Then we take one set of pliers, we grab that crimp end and we drag it down. And then you just squeeze it really, really tight. While you, we do that, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I already got a couple of videos on my channel. So go ahead, have a look. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but everything I use I will link in the description box. So you can go and have a look. Maybe you have some of these items that I use already. Maybe you don't. Um, everything you would need to make this bracelet is going to be in the description box. So we have tightened this crimp end as much as we can. And then we take scissors and we cut as closely as we can. Cut the ends off, and now we have this left, and now we just need to close that crimp end. Like we did in the beginning. Again, make sure that the two holes align. And then I take one of the jump rings. I think this one was five millimeters. And we put it through the two holes. And that's it, that's our bracelet done. As I said, I will link everything in the description box so you can go have a look. And yeah. Let me know what you think, if you enjoyed, uh, in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.